what is up guys back here on another video and for today's video i'm gonna be listing the top five best awakenings in this game because last video i listed the worst ones so now i'm going to do the best ones so let's get on with the video so starting off at the fifth spot this may, might make you guys pretty angry but i feel like bakugo's awakening is really good because ap shot barrage it can insta kill if done correctly. And its cooldown is not too long. Turbo Rush, it's Blast Rush but faster. And it does more damage. Explode Pull, it does pretty good damage. 5 for the grab and 35 for the actual move, so a total of 40 damage. How was her impact? It's, it's really good because look at that hitbox. And this might be a shocking. This might be a shocker that it made it on this list, but here's why. Yeah, it's done. It has no. It has no cooldown. So you could just infinite combo like that. And. Now I'm going to do the next one. Okay, so for the fourth spot, we got Shinji. For the first two bars, he does double damage. And you could really just destroy your opponent. 70 damage with a broken hitbox move. That's really good, but it's only for two bars. It doesn't last that long. Sarah. It does the amount of damage as Super Kamehameha, and that's really good. Slash, you're able to move it as you're doing it. And this is why Shinji's Awakening is really good. It's not Kanade. It reverses your opponent's controls, and your opponent is completely useless. And that is why he made it on this list. So, it's time for the third spot. So, for the third spot, we have Piccolo. And the reason why I'm saying his awakening is good is because Light Grenade is basically Byakurai on steroids. And the cooldown isn't too long. Oh, it kind of is long. But here's the real issue here. Here, let me test on this dummy. That combo. And look at Special Beam Cannon's cooldown. It's so low. And Special Beam Cannon completely melts your health. Super Demon Wave has the same hitbox as Big Bang Attack. And it has a super short cooldown. So basically, Piccolo's Awakening is just a bunch of short cooldown moves that destroy your health bar in only a few seconds. Like, look at that. And the reason why he's not in the number two spot or the number one spot is because there are awakenings that are kind of better. For the second spot, we got Dio. And I don't think I really need to explain this. He can stop time twice. Which can easily take away two of your stocks, and he has the one-shot combo. Yo, what the hell happened? I don't know what the hell just happened there. But he can destroy your health and stop time twice. Although, his cooldowns... They are kind of long. And it does kind of suck that you have to wait for your time stop. So that you can take off another stock. But it is worth it. You can destroy your opponent like that. And when you can no longer time stop anymore, you could just still destroy your opponent. Like that, they've got no health left. 
So, I'm just list a few honorable mentions before I get to number one. One of the honorable mentions on this list is PTS Sanji. Because it's his base on steroids. But it's PTS Sanji, which is why he's not on the list. He has no range. But look. 50 damage from that alone. That's already half health. Inspector. If used correctly, you can one shot. Also, his M1s do twice the damage. The, this awakening is really good with the damage output, but it's the same as the base. And that's why I can't really put it here. So, time for the second honorable mention. The second honorable mention is Aizen. Is because he only has two attacking moves. The first one, it's his base true power with a lot more damage. The first move is his ultimate. And this is why his awakening is really good. The Kyokasui Getsu cooldown is super, super short. And teleport. You can use that to escape combos and TP behind your opponent. Kurohitsugi. It's a pretty good ultimate. It can one shot. Um, if your opponent is at a pretty decent amount of health. So that's why his awakening is good, but just an honorable mention. Now time for the third one. So, for the third honorable mention, it's Yusuke. If this was a top 10, he'd probably be 6. Because Spirit Gun, it's a guard break and it has like a 6 second cooldown. It is, it is super spammable. His Demon Gun, it does a lot of damage. And it can be used multiple times, but it has a super long cooldown. Demon Barrage, really good moves. Headbutt series, really good grapple move. To be honest, I would even say this guy shouldn't be an honorable mention, but I already made the list, and that it is what it is. So, now, time for the last one. So, for the last honorable mention, we have Yamamoto. His awakening is really good because he has a really good one-shot cobble that practically takes no skill to land. His torch hitbox is really good, and that is amazing. You see, good points just like that. And... Hell Pillars, it is a good ultimate if it's used correctly. It can do some crazy damage, especially if you're in a public game mode. He will get a lot of points. So, now time for the best awakening in the game. <laughs> so, without a doubt, the best awakening in the game is Krillin's Awakening. Look. Sensu Bean, he can heal right back to full health. Super Kamehameha. It's just a Super Kamehameha. Destruct Each Destructor Disc does 20 damage. Goku, it's a really good AoE attack. And look at Sensu Bean's cooldown. Just wait for it. And if you didn't know already, he can heal back to full health twice in Awakening. So it's basically two extra lives. And that is why Krillin's Awakening is the best in the game. And if you disagree with this, please leave your list down in the comments or just tell me why you disagree. And with all that being said, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you next time.